this is withdrawing treatment and there is a patient Mr. Swallow, he is in ICU intubated, ventil ventilated uh, after an uh, emergency aortic aneurysm repair. Uh, but despite all active treatment, his condition is not improving and surgical and ICU team may have decided to withdraw the treatment. And uh, so consultant feels that it should begin by uh, tailing down the inotro first. So now your task is to break the bad news to the doctor regarding the Mr. Swallow's condition. Explain that ICU team feel that withdrawing treatment is in the best interest and explain how this will be done. Okay, so as in every skill we are doing, introduction, identification, purpose, understanding, agenda. Hello, I am Dr. Reis, one of the doctor in the medical, in the intensive care unit or medical uh, or other on call. Uh, are you Mrs. Wilde, the daughter of Mr. Swallow? Okay, well, I understand that your father is uh, with us in the hospital. Uh, for, uh, and some op uh, operation for his chest was done. Is that correct? Okay, correct. Okay. I am here to discuss with you uh, about his condition and uh, what we can do further. Okay, okay. So before I proceed further, will you tell me that what, how much you know about your father's condition? Like this you took his insight, her insight. Okay, now whatever she tells, listen patiently. Then you tell her, that uh, I am very sorry to tell you that Mr. Swallows remains very poorly and despite all efforts he has not improved. Then silence. See the daughter's response. Then explain that uh, I want to share with you some thoughts about the next step, what we can do. Then silence. Then she may ask, okay, what? Then say, okay, despite being on active treatment, the intensive care team feels that his outlook, outlook is poor and he is not responding well at all and he is going to die then silence and see the daughter response she can behave in different way as I have told you before the five responses because now this warning shot you have given about his father death her father death so it's a big big warning shot okay and then explain again that your your team feels that continuing active treatment will not achieve the desired result then silence and then you can take an idea that uh, uh, who makes up the family and uh, she or any other other family members how do you feel about it have you expressed your views on this matter and or if she says about anything about his father that his father would want this or this then you can again talk about advanced directive or uh, power of attorney as I have told you before okay um, but you will not discuss these issues in detail here because this is not exactly that scenario and uh, then ask any member of the family who is unaware or must be informed like uh, uh, and uh, because this uh, this decision it's it should be a it's a team decision and involvement of uh, family members patient wishes and the nominated member of family and team and all consultant all should be in in deciding and uh, now she daughter may feel that his father will be in pain because you will withdraw the treatment you are letting him die then reassure her that your father is sleeping with the medications he is not in pain and he is not aware what is happening and uh, and if the family agrees uh, that then if we withdraw the treatment he will deteriorate quickly and die very soon then again silence and again reinforce that he is comfortable he is not in pain and he is not aware what is happening and but point out gently that uh, if the daughter refuses uh, that uh, I don't let my father die continue active treatment then here the ethic points come okay you have to be very firm but polite at this point and reassure her that the fa I, okay, I appreciate your concern, I appreciate your feeling uh, as a daughter for your father but the final decision to withdraw treatment does not lie with you or the family but with the intensive care staff. 
so they must not feel you must not feel as uh, you are causing uh, your father death actively uh, because final decision rests with the team and uh, not with you okay so be very firm over it and don't agree to the patient daughter at all but politely and softly and within ethics and this then this then uh, this uh, if she ask okay how withdrawal will be taken then you can tell that we'll stop the medication who are supporting the heart and then the heart will stop and then we will stop the machine for the breathing and other machines okay so like this and she may ask how much time don't tell the exact time because we don't know the exact time but i can give you rough estimate that Uh, she he will deteriorate quickly uh, within minutes or within hours like this you can say and then tell her that uh, this decision is not needed right away now and uh, she should speak to other members of the family and you can see me again in some other part of the day later part of the day and then you can ask okay you have any queries questions do in the end you recap the patient recap and the follow up sports helps and then again reassure her that uh, the fun, uh, your father is not in pain and he is not where he will not feel and the final decision rests with the team and uh, also you, uh, you 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 if the daughter feels guilty then do you show the daughter that uh, the family or and uh, you are no one uh, in the need to feel the guilty because we are not you are not letting your father die because it is this decision is done in the best interest of your father so like this you have to carry out your skill please like share and subscribe my youtube channel for more videos thank you